Kathy. I'm a little surprised to see you here. I mean, I know that you and Beth aren't exactly close. Well, that was a long time ago, Olivia. And when people come back from the dead, they usually come back a lot nicer. How dare you interrupt my party? I didn't know about your party. But now that I do, I think I'll stay. Oh, no, you won't. As a matter of fact, I think I should have been put on the VIP list. Are you out of your mind? No. But you were. And if it weren't for me, you'd still be Lorelei Hills gallivanting about the streets of Chicago. You know something? You're absolutely right. So if you want to welcome me home, knock yourself out. Eat, drink, and enjoy the sights. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You think that I would ever trust you to do the right thing? No, I am telling Tony right now. Let go of me! Mar, please. No, Tony has a right to know the truth. All right, fine, fine, fine. If you're so determined to tell him, then I can't stop you. He's, he's probably at the house. Don't you worry, I will find him. Mara! I love him. I love him with all of my heart. And I can't stand the thought of losing him. So please don't do this. God. Tony, hi, it's... It's Catalina. Listen, I really, I really need to talk to you. It's about the baby. So, please call me back. Please call before Mara finds you. I can't believe this. No, I, I can't believe we drove all the way over here and they still won't let me see him. Yeah, see, I thought for sure that brother would change his mind once he saw we weren't going anywhere. Oh, I, I don't care. If I have to wait here all week, I'm gonna find Ray. Whatever it is must be important to you. Look, I need to know the reason why he won't marry Catalina and me. She told him something in the confessional. And he won't tell me. And all she's done is lie about it. Like with that whole thing about Ray coming on to her? Yeah, you know, and all this time I've known her, I've never known her to lie. See, I don't get it. That doesn't make any sense. But that's, that's why Ray is here. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to marry Catalina? I don't even trust her. You know, this should have never happened. I, I wish to God, I wish to, to God that this... Oh, this would just go away, you know? I don't care. I don't care, I don't care if I have to search every room in this compound. I'm gonna find them. I don't care what these priests have to say about it either. I'm the one who asked them to send you away, Tony. Why? Because I know you're here to ask me about Catalina. And you won't like my answer. so good to have you guys back here. Do you know that? It was only one night. Uh, yeah, no biggie. Oh, well, it may not be biggie to you, but you three are the most important things in my life. I just love you so much. Can we go, go in? Yeah. We can go in. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, mommy left it. Scooter. Can you fix it? Oh, it did again? You betcha I can fix it. I'll do that a little later, all right? Oh, sweetheart, I am so, so glad to see you. Oh, Dad's acting weird, too. Yes. Hey, guys, um, give me a minute alone with your dad, okay? Come on, go back. Mr. Bear, 
Huh? There he is. What are you doing here? I know what you said. Nick, I want you out. And I know that you're angry. Ross, did but you, I had to come back come and try here again. To pack a suitcase? Because if you didn't, I want you to leave. No, because I need the chance to tell you how sorry I am. It's not gonna happen. It should. It should. Over the years, I think I've forgiven you a few things. Don't you think you owe me the courtesy? I owe you nothing. And you cannot just barge in here. This is my home. It used to be your home, Ross. Look, I am not going to raise my voice. Good. Because I love you, and I love the kids. So much so that you endangered them? I made a mistake, but I'm their father, and they still need me. OK, I know what you're doing. You're using the children to manipulate me. No, I'm not. I'm trying to keep a family together. It's too late. Just get out. Sorry, I can't do that. I'm not going to give up on these kids, and I'm not going to give up on you. Oh, good. You and Dad are on the same team. I know. But you're gonna bump them off. Mm. My turn. Yes! A two! One, two! You win again! <laughs> okay, that's it. That's uh, oh, time for bed. No. Yeah. One more game! Come on, guys, no, no, don't no, give me any trouble. I'll put this together. All right, you go wash up, and uh, we'll look at your scooter, okay? So what? You think you can play some games with the kids and it's all gonna go away? Of course I don't think that, but they need me. Of course they do. You should have thought about that before. All right, why don't you tell me how we can start to make it better between us? I don't know, Ross, but you have to leave now. I can't, I won't, not like this. Damn you. I'm sorry, I'm human. I'm human and I made a mistake. It was a mistake. It was a betrayal. I only slept with her once. <laughs> once when you want a badge for self-restraint? You play me for a fool over and over yes, again. Yes, And I'm sorry about that. But I'm still the man who loves you and wants to remarry you. No. That man wasn't a hypocrite. He didn't lie, he didn't cheat, and he didn't endanger his children. I used to look at you, Ross, and I counted my blessings. And now I look at you and you just make me sick. I remember the feeling, but time heals all things. Time? I'm fresh out of time. Well, then let me help. You want to help me? You go upstairs and you tuck your children in, get your things, and get out of here. And by the way, the wedding's off. You shouldn't have come here. Ray, this has gone on long enough, all right? And look, I need to know why Catalina lied to me. She told you? Look, I knew you would never hit on her. I knew that. And now you know that your name is clear, look, all right? That's the least of my worries. But I am grateful that she did tell the truth. That's the thing. I don't think she did. Why? What did she say? She told me that you were protecting me. From what? From the real reason that you won't marry Catalina and me. Which is? I'm still in love with Mom. Hey, look, I, I know, I know that your vows are secret, all right? But I am your brother. And if I'm gonna make the biggest mistake of my life, you've gotta stop me. Hi, Tony, it's Catalina again. Um, I really need you to call me. It's very, 
important, okay? Call me. Ben, 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 oh my God, I need your help, okay? I do. Listen, listen, listen. I still have, I still have that book, all right? And I'll tell Mara, and then she'll never speak to you Calm ever down, again. Hey, and... Get a grip. All right? Yeah. And what's this emergency? Huh? Mara found out that I lost the baby. How? Well, does it matter? Look, look, I begged her not to tell Tony, and she ran away anyway to find him. Hey, we're too late. We're too late. No, 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 because Tony's out of town. Tony's out of town. Mara doesn't know? No, no, and I gotta find, I gotta find, I gotta find him before she does. Well, what are you gonna tell him? I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> He's gonna find out eventually, Kat. No, 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 it is. It's gotta be a, a baby. I'm sorry, a baby. but Tony is gonna find out eventually. And when he does, he is gonna come after us. Tony can't know. Baby, that's, that's, that's the reason that he's, he's marrying me. You're starting to freak me out. Okay, at first I thought this was just trauma, but you are in deep denial. Okay, go, 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 what? go find Mara, all right? And, and stall her, stall her and stop Lena, her, okay? You had a you, miscarriage, you there is no baby. Yes, there, but there can be, okay? Today, today or tomorrow or the next day, the next day at the latest. What makes you think it's gonna work this time? I don't, mm. I don't know, I don't know, but I have to try. If I'm not pregnant, then Tony's never gonna love me. This is my last chance at happiness. You've got your whole life ahead of you. If you could just step back. Tony this... is the only man for me. He said he was gonna marry me. All I have to do is get pregnant and then everything will be perfect. What's the matter? I need to find Tony. I'm so sorry to do this to you guys, but it's so important that I find him. Hey, is something wrong? I really don't think we should get into it here. Is this something to do with Catalina? Last time I looked, you two were at each other's throats. Yeah, I know. Catalina and I, we, we don't get along. But Danny, if I don't find Tony, this could affect him for the rest of his life. Well, you gotta give me a little more than that. I, I promise, I'm not trying to scam you. I promise. You know, I'm not gonna tell you that I don't love Tony, but I would not do that to you, and I would not do that to him. I'm, this isn't about me. I just, I'm trying to keep him from making a huge mistake. You guys have got to believe me. Tony's out of town. His brother Ray went on a retreat, and Tony went to see him. <laughs> Why? Look, we don't know for sure, but we think that Tony was having doubts about marrying Catalina. I'll track him down. Thank you. Okay? Yes. And I'll call you when I find out something. Where are you going to be? Um, I will be at the dorm. Why don't you give me your number? Don't worry about it. I'll call you. Try not to worry, okay? Thank you, guys. I owe you big time. Okay. Thank you. Track Tony down. Okay, well, okay. Uh, I'll go mingle. Okay. Take a few later. Hello, Danny. Hello. I know what you're thinking. Dirme con quien andes y dirme quien eres. Since when do you hang out here? Since my name has been put up. Oh, really? You're joining the country club? I'm a member in waiting. I have every right to be here. Why would you want to be here? It's easy for you to say, Danny. Since you married into the Bowers, you've taken their acceptance for granted. I need to ask you a favor. Come with me.
don't know when to give up, eh? <coughs> Richard! It's not enough that I've lost. You have to kick me when I'm down as well. Why don't you stop humiliating yourself? Well, I suppose I could learn something about that from you, couldn't I? Mm. After all, you're down here with me. You're lucky to be anywhere but in jail. And yet you managed to jump out of San Cristobal with a golden parachute. Eh? Well, not. Not golden, perhaps, no, but you did manage to land on your feet. So, an ambassador. Hmm? Requiem for the heavyweights. Well, both heavyweights once, weren't we? Now look at us. We're here in Springfield. As good citizens have welcomed you into their fold, and I'm left to sing for my supper. Still railing against the world. Oh, I'm just trying to help you. What was that, a twinge of guilt? I don't feel sorry for you. No, of course you don't. You're too busy jockeying for position in the spotlight. And once again, I'm the black sheep of the family left with less than nothing. Not for long. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen our daughter? She can't take her eyes off us. She's very happy to have everybody back together. <laughs> well, from now on, I'm going to devote myself to giving her all of the love and stability that she deserves. And I'm really looking forward to taking care of both my kids. Good. You take care of this kid. You just make sure that she leaves a little time for me. Right. You're on a list. Not, That's uh, all I can not say. Not hogging the game. Honor, late. Yeah, late. Hey, buddy. Hi, Mel. How are you? Uh, Beth Williams, Dr. Mel Bedreau. Well, nice to meet you, Doctor. Oh, please call me Mel. It's nice to meet you, too. Rick tells me that you're the first woman he's ever loved. Oh! oh. That is correct, and I'm claiming my rights for this dance. Uh, oh! Okay. Oh. What? What? <laughs> you got something you want to say? Watch the toes. <laughs> oh. No! I'm not going to say it. That's you great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you, too. I missed you. I missed you, too. We all have. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. No, it's a uh, high-protein, low-carb diet that I'm on right now. <laughs> no, not you! Not you! Who? Who? Her! Oh, yes, Mel. of course. Oh, yes. She is, she is absolutely stunning. <laughs> oh, we've got so much to catch up on here. Um, but I have to ask you a question first. Okay, go ahead. Shoot. Is it really you? I mean, after everything <laughs> happened in Mexico, Lorelei, Beth, Beth, Lorelei, I just want a little confirmation. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You have been one of my best friends since high school, since Mindy and I shared a room at Cedars, and oh, 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 I'm sorry. oh, oh, gotta clip oh, those, gotta clip those toenails, gotta clip those toenails. Those feet oh, are you. so okay. Well, that. clearly we have been left to fend for ourselves. Would you like to dance? I would love to. Let's do that. Thank you. Well, out of the way. Out of the way. <laughs> I want to ask you something, well, and I want you to feel free to give me an honest answer. Okay. What do you see? <laughs> That's a joke. Oh. That's a joke. He's my best friend. He's one of the best guys I know. Yeah, I think he's pretty great, too. Mm -hmm. Is it hard? You know, working together and, and dating? Occasionally. Yeah. I guess the hospital doesn't have any protocol about dating. Not that I know. Oh, well, that's good. That makes it easier. Yeah. <laughs> How about your family? What about them? Are they okay with this whole thing? Yeah. Oh. Well, you obviously make Rick happy. Well, we just started dating, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> so you you see this as being a serious thing? You and Rick? Philip Spaulding, are you questioning my intentions towards your friend? <laughs> Don't do this. I would have said the same thing to you, Ross, if I thought it would have stopped you from tearing our family apart. No, I'm trying to keep it together. We need to work through this so that you can trust me again. Ross, you know what it's like to be cheated on. But you did it to me anyway. Do you know how long it took me to trust you, to believe that you loved me? That's why I made all those mistakes before. You proved me right. I've never been so sorry to be right. We've worked through a lot of things. You know what? I can't do it. I don't want to talk anymore. Talking is like not going to do anything. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go have fun. Cassie called this morning. Best parties tonight, yeah? 
Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm gonna grant you a reprieve just this once. You wanna make good on your claims to be a real daddy? You go and you take care of my children while I'm out. I'd love to take care of the kids, but in your mood, I don't think it's a good idea to go out. I don't give a damn what you think. I'm going. You're not the only one who knows how to go out and have fun. Continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Not my business. I'm just, I'm uh, sort of, am I missing something here? Other than your friend giving me the third degree, no. Really? Uh, do you remember that baggage I talked to you about uh, at the company a couple weeks ago? I forgot to mention him. Well, uh, didn't you know that when you date Rick, you get okay. the Okay, all right. Well, huh? clearly, no good deed goes unpunished. I'm sorry. I was, I was, I was trying to look out for my wayward friend here. Not that he deserves it. Well, so did she pass the test? Pass the test? Yeah. Does Does she get to keep? I'm I'm still trying to figure out what oh. Venus here is doing with you. <laughs> well, we haven't figured it out. She's a very patient woman. Yeah, enough <laughs> clearly. About, enough about us. What about you guys? How you doing? You seem pretty happy. I think things are pretty good right now. Yeah. Hey! Hey, Nana just taught me how to do the twist. Want to see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll show you, but then I'm going to take this one home. Okay. 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 Watch, right. watch. <laughs> go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, am I ruining her? <laughs> nice. Of course. Excuse me. Hello, Evan. You enjoying the party? About as much as you are. I'm very happy to be here. Bev is my friend. Well, how wonderful for her to belong to that very small club. Well, it's having the right friends that's important, isn't it? It's quality, not quantity. I have Alan Spaulding. Yes, let's hope you'll have more luck with Alan Spaulding than you did with either Richard or Josh Lewis. With Alan, I have a man who will give me anything I want. Except for a place on that ridiculous lighthouse committee. Small town, people talk. Oh, come on, Olivia, face the facts. Why would anyone settle for you when they can have a golden couple on a silver platter? Carpetbaggers. Everyone's a sucker for an ex-royal. Well, if you played your cards right, you'd be an ex-royal too. Oh, you're so right. But I have my excuse, Edmund. What's yours? The retreat where Father Ray is staying at. That was fast. Thanks. Well, it gives me nothing but pleasure to help my son. Maybe you could return the favor. Later. <laughs> Make your phone call. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. No, that's okay. I've been looking all over for you. I've been trying to track Tony down. Why? Because I need to tell him something that's really, really important. Did you find him? No, no, his cousin Danny is supposed to give me a call once he finds him. Sounds like a pretty big deal. Ben, I'll tell you everything once I find Tony, I promise. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta get this to Remy or I'm gonna lose my next room assignment. I'll do it for you. No, that's okay. I have to talk to him about getting a new roommate anyway. Um, if Danny calls, will you please just... I'll pick up, yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? again. What's going on? Mara went to Danny for help. She's waiting for him to call and tell her where Tony is. Wait. 
Cat, hold on. Hey, it's Mara. Leave a message. Mara, it's Danny. Uh, I got that address for you. It's the Trinity Retreat in Brewster Falls. Uh, good luck. I hope you get to him in time. Oh, oh my God. What? Do you, th do you think that Mara told, told Danny that I lost the baby? How should I know? Did you get the address? Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Good. All gone. Look, I gotta go. What are you gonna do? I'm going to find Tony before Mara or Father Ray tells him the truth. Hey. Hey. Did Danny call? No, no, not yet. I just... Ray, I just, I want to do the right thing. I know you do, bro. You know... When I think that I... that I can't be with Mara, I get so... So mad that I think I'm gonna go crazy. I just, I feel, I don't know, I kind of feel, feel, I feel, I feel helpless, you know? I just, and I haven't felt like this since, since dad died. And I, I went, I went pretty crazy then, you know? Yeah, I know. Look, uh, so that's where I think that my kid won't have a dad around. I can't stand it. And I can't stand thinking that Catalina is, is keeping something from me and my own brother won't tell me why. I can't. Why not, man? You think, you think that's what God wants? You think he wants me to ruin my life over... Some, some silly rules? The some... seal of the confessional is not a silly rule. But you're gonna let me screw up my life because of it, Ray. Tony, I'm in as much pain over this as you are. It's challenging everything I believe in. So that's why... So that's why you're here. And that's why. I... That's why you want to send me away because what Catalina said. What Catalina lied about must be pretty serious, huh? Please. You have got to tell me. take to find an address. This is so frustrating. You want to talk about it? <sighs> yeah, I do. But I think that I should tell Tony first. Whatever you say. All right. It's about Catalina. She's been lying to all of us. She lost the baby. Can you believe it? She she miscarried weeks ago, and she's still trying to pressure Tony into marrying her. Meanwhile, he doesn't even know. No wonder you're dying for Danny's call. I think Tony has a right to know he's being lied to. Yeah, yeah, and you have to be the one to tell him? Ben, what do you think, that I'm just going to save him, and he's going to be so grateful we're going to ride off into the sunset together? Now, why would I think that? You know what? Go on. Go on. We both know our parts. <laughs> I think I've been pretty easygoing. I've never put my foot down and said I didn't want you to see Tony or anything like that. No, you haven't. But I'm tired, Mara. I'm tired of watching you let yourself get hurt. I'm tired of being your consolation prize. You can run after Tony all you want, but he's only going to cause you pain. You know that. 
Why can't you understand that I have to do this? Tony is about to make a life-altering mistake, and I'm just trying to help him. Your motives are pure and selfless. Yeah, that's right. And if you are naive enough to think that Tony will treat you better than me, then I don't know what to say. But I am through being patient. You want to ditch out on a chance at real happiness? Fine. Run after Tony. I won't stop you. There you are. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't think I got enough bedtime story tonight. Luckily, Daddy knows some by heart. Once upon a time, there was a family of bears, Papa Bear and Mama Bear, and their three little cubs, and they lived in the forest, of course, because everybody knows that's where bears live. And they were so happy. Until one day, Daddy went out to look for some food, and suddenly he didn't know where he was. He was lost, and he couldn't find his way back home. And Mama Bear, who he loved more than anybody in the world, she was so worried and upset. how I feel. Alert the media. You're in for a show. I thought that we were okay. How can we be when you're on this never-ending quest for Tony's love? That's what you think this is about? That I'm subconsciously going after Tony? I don't think it's a subconscious thing, Mara. Ben. Kat may have slept with Tony, but that's not why you broke up. You're forgetting about all the bad things that happened between you two. Things didn't work out for you. That's why Tony slept with Kat in the first place. She manipulated him. And did you a favor. Mara, if you go after Tony now, you're getting back on that hell ride. Even if that's what I'm doing, so many things have changed now. Who knows what would happen? We have a good thing here. And I want to be the guy you can depend on. Not the one who lies or cheats or plays you against another woman. I want to be the one who makes you feel loved and safe and special. If you go back to Tony, you're saying yes to pain and know the possibility. Please, please don't give up on us. Romeo, where's Tony? Where's Tony? Whoa, whoa, calm look, down. Look, look I, I need to see him, okay? Where is he? Wait, wait, are you not listening to me? I said calm down. you weren't on a business trip. I was worried. I had to talk to Ray. About what? About you. And he had some very interesting things to say. Finally, after a long, long time, Papa Bear found his way back home. But the journey had changed him. And Mama was so mad because he'd been away for so long. 
So he gathered his family together and he gave each one a bear hug and he promised them that he would never get lost again and that he would always keep fighting for his family. Okay, enough. Blake, I'm gonna get you some food. Oh, food is for mortals. <laughs> oh, please, it's a party. Red flag, Blake. Oh, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get you a plate of food, and when I come back, I want you to tell me what the hell is going on between you and Ross, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Quite an impressive show you put on earlier. I hope you don't expect me to thank you. I wouldn't dream of it. After all, you're doing such a fine job covering your feelings for me. I'm not covering anything. Any feelings I had for you were buried in the desert. That's where you're wrong, you see. You think you can pick and choose the parts of Lorelei you like and discard the rest? Lorelei is a part of you. A strong, determined part. And she's in love with me. So try snuffing her out all you like. It won't succeed, and she will be back with a vengeance. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have everyone's attention just for a moment, please. Well, I'm glad to see everyone is enjoying themselves, but I would like to take this moment to propose a toast to the guest of honor this evening, to Beth Rains. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And her triumphant return. <laughs> and to the agent who rescued her. True love. <laughs> Hopefully the next time we gather to honor her, it will be at the wedding. <laughs> to my son, Philip. I have a little toast of my own. It's a, a chaser to the fairy tale. So listen up, it's gonna be good. This has been Guiding Light.